Hello students, welcome you back to the classes of insurance claims. So previous video I have explained you in detail regarding the meaning of the term insurance claim, how to find out the stock on the date of fire by making memorandum trading account and what are the factors to be considered while making this memorandum trading account, what are the points to be considered that we have discussed in the previous video. So if you have not watched the theory video please go back to the first theory video have a good command have the I mean complete knowledge about this topic of insurance claim then come to the problem then it will be much easier for you to understand now we'll start the problems hope you have got the hard copy of the problems which I have provided to you in the link under description without the problems you cannot be able to understand the solution so my request my suggestion please go to the link in the description below my video you'll find the description under description you find the link get a hard copy of the problems then keep it ready before watching the problems then only it will be helpful to you come on. we'll start the first problem fire uh, find out the value of stock burnt by fire from the following particulars we have to find out how much is the value of stock on the date of fire fire broke out in the factory on 1st july 1998 understand the problem carefully understanding the problem is half solved so before going to the solution you must have a good grasp on the uh, contents of the problem fire broke out in the factory on the first on first july 1998 destroying the complete stock stock on first january 1998 was 60000 opening that means the business is following calendar year the beginning of the year first january ending of the year 31st December and the fire broke out on 1st July 1998 the opening stock 1st January opening stock 60,000 purchases up to the date of fire 1,20,000 in a 1st January is a like a 1st July tuk, date of fire tuk, purchase jo 1,20,000 the rate of gross profit is 20% on sales GP ratio is given in the problem and sales up to the date of fire amounted to 2 lakh so we are given the sales from the beginning of the year up to the date of fire 2 lakh so see here memorandum trading account for the period ending for period ending 1st july 1998 1st july 1998 tak ke liye memorandum trading account why we are making to find out how much was the stock on the date of fire ye fire ke date ke upar godown mein kitna stock tha to find out that the memorandum trading account now see here by sales the sales are given in the problem from the beginning of the year to the date of fire 2 lakh now debit side opening stock it is given in the problem on 1st of january the stock was 60000 purchases during the period from beginning of the year to the date of fire 1 lakh 20000 and gross profit ratio is given in the problem that is 20% of sales specifically given in the problem the gp ratio is 20% of sales Joby sales hai, uska 20 percent hai. sales are 2 lakh so 2 lakh ka 20 percent you get 40,000 that's all debit side we got all the values 2 lakh 20,000 take the 2 lakh 20,000 on both the sides subtract 2 lakh rupees 2 lakh 20,000 minus 2 lakh you'll get 20,000 this is the closing stock balancing figure and therefore the value of stock on the date of fire is 20,000 that's it it's very simple over simple problem first one right now second problem you see carefully a fire occurred on 20th may 2004 in a factory from the following particulars ascertain the amount of claim to be lodged in case of loss of stock the date of fire you have to remember 20th may 2004 stock on 1st january 2004 opening stock purchases for 1st january 2004 to the date of fire 7 lakh 50 thousand wages 75 thousand manufacturing expense 25 thousand wages and manufacturing expense are direct expenses it will be debited to trading account then sales from 1st january to the date of fire 10 lakh the gross profit ratio is 20 percent sales gp ratio given the stock salvaged was estimated to 40 thousand the new point in this problem is salvage stock salvage salvage ka matlab saved mal pura destroy nahi hua jitna go down mein tha at the time of fire usme se kuch mal baj gaya some material were saved that is called salvaged and salvaged should be deducted from the value of stock 
Now, memorandum trading account for the period ending 20th May 2004. Right? Sales are given 10 lakh from the beginning of the year to the date of filing. Opening stock 1 lakh given in the problem. Purchases given. Wages given 75,000. Manufacturing expenses 25,000. The gross profit ratio is given in the problem 20% of sales. So how much are the sales here? 10 lakh. 10 lakh are 20% 2 lakh. That's all. We have all the items on the debit side. Take the total 11 lakh 50,000. From 11 lakh 50,000 subtract 10 lakh. Minus 10 lakh. 1 lakh 50,000 balancing figure. This is the closing stock. This is the stock on the date of fire. Jo time pe fire hua, wo time pe go down mein itna stock tha. Ab isme se kuch mal baj gaya. Some stock was salvaged or saved. That will be deducted. So here stock on the date of fire 1 lakh 50 thousand. Less stock salvaged 40 thousand. Subtract 40 thousand. 1 lakh 10 thousand is the amount of claim to be lodged with the insurance company. Ab insurance company ko claim jo karenge 1 lakh 10 thousand ka claim karenge. That's it. So first problem and second problem we have seen only small change. Here stock salvaged given, here it is not given. And here the extra exp expenses, wages and manufacturing expenses are there. Direct expense, debited. Here there are no direct expenses. That is the difference. Now see the third one. Problem number three. A fire occurred on the premises of a merchant on 15th of June 2004 and a considerable part of the stock was destroyed. The value of stock saved was 4,500. Salvaged. 4,500. The books disclose that on 1st April the stock was valued at 36,750. That means the business is following financial year. The year begins from 1st April and ends on 31st March. Right? So on 1st April, beginning of the year, the opening stock was 36,750. Purchases to the date of fire 4,940. Purchases are given from beginning of the year to the date of fire. Sales rupees 1,556,500. ,00 on investigation, it was found that during the past five years, average gross profit was on sales was 36%. GP ratio given, sales given, purchases given, opening stock given. You are required to prepare a statement showing the amount the merchant should claim from the insurance company in respect of stock destroyed or damaged by fire. It's very easy. No new point at all. All the same points what we have done in the first two problems. Third problem, memorandum trading account for the period ending. Sales are given 1,56,500 from the beginning of the year to the date of fire. And opening stock at the beginning of the year on 1st April, 36,750. Purchases from the beginning of the year to the date of fire, 1,4,950. Gross profit ratio is given 36% of sales. Sales are 1,56,500. It's got 36%. 56,340. Take the total 1,98,030. From 1,98,30 subtract 1,56,500. The balancing figure closing stock 41,530. Stock on the date of fire is 41,530. From this we subtract stock saved or stock salvaged 4,500. The amount remaining amount to be claimed from insurance company 37,030. Exactly similar to the previous one. No change at all. Next fourth problem. A fire occurred on 10th August 2004 in the godown of Ramlal. Remember the date? Date of fire, 10th August 2004. From the following figures, ascertain the claim to be lodged. Stock on 1st April 2004, beginning of the year. Here again, the year begins from 1st April and going to end on 31st March. But the fire occurred on 10th August. The beginning of the year, opening stock 25,000. Purchases from 1st April to the date of fire, 1,80,000. Wages and manufacturing expense debited 40,000. Sales from 1st April to the date of fire 2,60,000. Goods used by proprietor at cost 5,000. This is the new point. When cash or goods taken by the proprietor for personal use, it is called drawings. The drawings can be deducted from purchases or it can be taken on the credit side of trading account. Both the methods, any one of the methods you can follow. You can deduct the drawings from purchases or you can take the drawings on the credit side, right? This is the new point in this problem. The rate of gross profit is 30% on cost. Here we have a point again. Previous problem we have seen percentage of gross profit was given on sales. But here the gross profit is not given on sales. It's a percentage on cost. 
तो हियर यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल रिगार्डिंग कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट सेल्स के ऊपर अगर देता तो डायरेक्टली ऑन सेल्स वी वुड हैव कैलकुलेट प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव सीन अगर सेल्स देता तो डायरेक्टली वी वुड हैव कैलकुलेटेड ऑन सेल्स इफ कॉस्ट इज गिवन इन वर्किंग नोट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट द स्टॉक सेल्वेज्ड वाज वैल्यूड एट 8000 स्टॉक सेल्ड तो टू न्यू पॉइंट्स आर देयर द फर्स्ट न्यू पॉइंट इज देयर इज ड्रॉइंग the proprietor has withdrawn taken some goods for its personal use credit side next the percentage of gross profit is not given on sales it is given on cost so how to find out the value of, amount to be claimed with the, from the insurance company see here memorandum trading account for the period ending 30th uh, 10th august 2004 by sales 260000 given in the problem by goods used by the proprietor By goods used by the proprietor, drawings five thousand. So we can deduct five thousand from purchases, or we can show it on the credit side. Any one of the method you have to, any one of the method you have to follow, right? Any one of the method you have to follow. So opening stock, uh, closing stock, balancing figure, last figure will take. Opening stock twenty five thousand. Purchases one lakh eighty thousand. Wages and manufacturing expenses forty thousand. Now take the total gross profit is thirty percent on cost. The GP is given thirty percent on cost. This is the new point. अगर ये thirty percent on sales अगर देता तो directly we would have calculated on sales. Directly we would have calculated on sales, but it is given on cost. So in working note we calculate. Working note we calculate करेंगे, right? So in working note, let the cost be hundred because it is given thirty percent on cost. and cost we don't know we don't have the cost figures to jab cost nahi hai wo suppose karenge kya suppose karenge 100 let the cost be 100 to gross profit is 30% of cost to 30% of 100 will be 30 rupees 30% of 100 will be 30 rupees to suppose kare let the cost be 100 then gross profit will become 30 and remember the equation cost plus gross profit is equal to sales cost plus gross profit is equal to sales to 100 plus 30 100 plus 30 is equal to 130 sales will be 130 right when actual sales are 260000 when actual sales are 260000 how much would be the gross profit तो टू लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड हाउ मच वुड बी द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट तो टू लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय वन थर्टी इंटू थर्टी टू लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाय वन थर्टी इंटू थर्टी यू विल गेट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड रुपीज ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड रुपीज ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट आई हैव टेकन सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इयर नॉट टेक द टोटल ऑन द डेबिट साइड डेबिट साइड टोटल थ्री लैख फाइव थाउजेंड फ्रॉम थ्री लैख फाइव थाउजेंड सब ट्रैक्ट टू लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एंड फाइव थाउजेंड ये दोनों को माइनस कर दो The balancing figure will be forty thousand. So this forty thousand is the stock on the date of stock on the date of fire. Stock on the date of fire is forty thousand. Sixty thousand. Sorry, forty thousand. Now we have to find out how much of the claim to be made with the insurance company. Here you can see stock on the date of fire is forty thousand. Less stock salvaged eight thousand. Problem में दे दिया कि eight thousand rupees of stock was salvaged minus कर दो. Amount to be claimed from insurance company thirty two thousand. That's it. So the new point in this problem is this one cost. And the the next point is goods used by the proprietor. Now see the fifth problem. The cheap stores limited which deals in provisions prepares accounts annually to thirty first December. The ratio of gross profit to sale is constant throughout. So every year accounts are closed on 31st December, right? On 30th April 2005, the stock was partly destroyed by fire. Remember the date of fire, 30th April 2005. The books and records were saved, and from this the following information was obtained: stock, including old stock at cost, 31st December 2003 and 31st December 2004. Actually. The fire occurred in the year two thousand five, but the data is given for two thousand four also. Why? The gross profit ratio may not be given in the problem. We'll see. 
ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट रेशियो अगर नहीं दिया तो फिर लास्ट ईयर का डाटा देता है तो वी आर गिवन द लास्ट ईयर डाटा मींस ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट रेशियो मे नॉट बी गिवन वी हैव टू फाइंड वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर अ ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट ऑफ लास्ट ईयर टू फाइंड आउट द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट रेशियो तो 31 दिसंबर 2003 यानी दिस इज द ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ द ईयर लास्ट ईयर लास्ट ईयर 2004 था तो 2004 का ओपनिंग स्टॉक 900 और 2004 का क्लोजिंग स्टॉक 2200 देन परचेजेस 2004 लास्ट लास्ट ईयर ईयर सेल्स 2004 last year. Purchases from January to April 2005 ये करंट ईयर एंड सेल्स जनवरी टू अप्रैल 2005 करंट ईयर यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू असर्टेन द वैल्यू ऑफ स्टॉक डिस्ट्रॉय व्हाट इज द न्यू पॉइंट इन दिस स्टॉक rate of gross profit is not at all given rate of gross profit not given so we have to find out the rate of gross profit by preparing a trading account of last year by preparing a trading account of last year last year was 2004 so first we make trading account for the year ended 31st december we are not writing memorandum memorandum trading account will be written for that period during which the fire occurred जो साल फायर हुआ वो टाइम पे स्टॉक मालूम करने के लिए मेमोरेंडम यहां पर हम लास्ट ईयर का ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट बना रहे टू फाइंड आउट द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट तो ओपनिंग स्टॉक 900, सेल्स 30,300, परचेजेस थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड परचेजेस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक 2020, ओपनिंग स्टॉक इज आल्सो गिवन क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इज ऑल्सो गिवन सेल्स आर गिवन परचेज आर गिवन द बैलेंसिंग फिगर ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट इज द बैलेंसिंग फिगर 9090. So what is the purpose of making this trading account to find out the gross profit? We got the gross profit. Now we calculate what is the rate of gross profit, percentage of gross profit. So GP ratio, gross profit ratio. The formula for GP ratio is gross profit by sales into 100. Gross profit by sales into 100. So 9090 divided by 30300 into 130 percent. That's all. we got the gp ratio gross profit ratio of 30% now we apply the 30% during the current year that is year of fire in which year fire occurred 2005 so memorandum trading account for the period ending 30th april 2005 now opening stock last year's closing stock will become current year's opening stock so what is the last year's closing stock here 2200 तो 2004 का क्लोजिंग स्टॉक 2005 का ओपनिंग स्टॉक हो जाएगा तो दिस 2200 आई टेकन हियर ओपनिंग स्टॉक एंड परचेजेस फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर टू द डेट ऑफ फायर गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम 8350 सेल्स फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर टू द डेट ऑफ फायर गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम 10400 जीपी रेशियो जस्ट नाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड 30% 30% ऑफ सेल्स सेल्स हाउ मच 10400 तो 10,400 का 30 परसेंट कैलकुलेट 3,120 इज़ द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट टेक द टोटल ऑन डेबिट साइड 13,670 13,670 में से माइनस 10,400 द बैलेंसिंग फिगर इज़ 3,270 3,270 इज़ द स्टॉक ऑन द डेट ऑफ़ फ़ाइल वैल्यू ऑफ़ स्टॉक ऑन द डेट ऑफ़ फ़ाइल दैट्स ऑल दिस इज़ द क्लेम टू बी लॉस्ड विद द इंश्योरेंस कोई सैलवेज वैल्यू सेव्ड वैल्यू नहीं है तो जितना वैल्यू स्टॉक है दैट इज द क्लेम टू बी मेड विद इंश्योरेंस कंपनी फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव डिस्कस नाउ होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द क्लेम टू बी लॉज विद इंश्योरेंस कंपनी बाय मेकिंग मेमोरेंडम ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ स्टॉक ऑन द डेट ऑफ फाइव सो फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड